Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Trapel, and you are watching the Catch Up, the Finals Day edition for the Male Rift Girl Pro Portugal, presented by Corona. What a day! A Saturday here in Peniche where. We had to wait to the last day of the waiting period. It was a risk for contest officials knowing that this long period west would come through and it delivered. Showed up on dark, it was pretty small. And after a couple of holds this afternoon, turned into a brilliant choice. To crown our champions, Joanne DeFay went the distance, making her first final in Peniche in her career here at Super Tubos in what turned out to be a veteran takeover. Joanne DeFay got past Luana Silva in the quarters, then went on to beat Lakey Peterson, and then took out two-time world champ Tyler Wright in the final. It all came down to that amazing backhand that we've been celebrating ever since she was a rookie back in 2014. Picked up a brand new sharp eye from their factory right here in Portugal, and it was instant magic for Joanne DeFay. And with the last few lay days, she was under the weather, got back to 100% at the right time for final Saturday, and really looked untouchable. Wasn't falling, picked the right waves. Her backhand kept delivering score after score, got past Lakey this morning, and then after a serious hold on the low tide, stayed in form, even with bigger serve against Tyler Wright. Tyler had probably the biggest waves in the final, but kept slipping off and got caught inside. So Joanne picks up her first win in a final over Tyler in her career, moves up to number two in the world. Her first win since G-Land in 2022. Nice and 100% recovering from her foot injury. Now she's truly in the world title race as we check out the rankings. Heading into the Australian leg of the tour, Molly Picklum, the 21-year-old, will hang on to yellow as she heads into Bells. Look at the jump for DeFay all the way to number two. Tati making some moves as well, making finals day up to number six in the world. And Tyler, who's looking for three Bells in a row this year, is up to world number eight, heading into stop number four. Exciting look at the WSL final five as the uh, year continues and we're getting real close to that mid-season cut. Remember that happens at stop number five at Margaret River. Going to the men's side today, it was really exciting because we had to start with the quarterfinals on Saturday. Big day for this crew, and it was all about Griffin Cola Pinto getting past Juan Turu, then Kat past Medina, who was looking like he was all about beast mode, the guy to beat for sure in this event, and then got past Ethan Ewing in the final. Ethan got Crosby, Griff's younger brother, in semifinal number one, and the big bro had some payback when it came down to the final. Griffin didn't really have the greatest start to the season. A couple of nights to kick off at Pipeline and Sunset and spent about three months out of the water after his hip injury. So he was really digging deep, really trying to channel excellence in his mind. And he certainly delivered in the water, really impressed with his backhand effort and then finding magic inside the tube. He gave us a lot to think about, especially that big tail drift coming out of the pit. That was one of the exciting combos of the day, then rolled into this, the best barrel of finals day. Griffin into the nines, almost getting a perfect score on this one, and this really put the final away. After these guys were sharing mistakes throughout this final, Griffin turned things around, found the magic to pick his, up his fourth win of his career, his second event title here in Pamish, and his younger brother couldn't have been more proud celebrations are still happening here in Panish for the USA as Griffin is now in yellow world number one heading into Bell's Beach how about that Ethan Ewing number two in the world he'll share that seed with John John Florence heading into Bell's Jack's dropped from number two down to four but look at that top four Jack John Ethan Griffin have officially made the cut as we continue on with the tour, heading to Bells and then Margaret River. So 18 spots left to decide for the remainder of the season as far as the cut's concerned. And hey, great job to Sharp by Surfboards, moving into the lead on the Shaper rankings, heading into Bells. Check out worldsurfleague.com for more highlights, athlete updates, and full heat replays from the Male Rip Curl Pro Portugal presented by Corona. And 
Hey, tune in March 26th for the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach, presented by Bonsoy.